Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel The Coded Brain. And in this video, I'll be solving a problem I named it as comparing phone numbers program. So, let's get started. First of all, let's give phone numbers. Uh, either you can ask it by the user also. Okay, let's ask it for the user. And for that, you must use a scanning function. I've taught you how to use a scanner in my previous video. Uh, if I want was that this uh, was it so we did import java.util.scanner so and what should we do a scanner and let's give name scan equal to new scanner system dot in yeah we have finally declared a uh, scanning function name scan so now let's declare some variables since we are going to uh, compare the age of four person so let's give a, a b c and d that is to keep the age of four person let's ask the user the age system dot out dot print and it will be print out the age of first person and where we are where we are going to scan it a equal to this is how you can scan dot next sorry dot next int this is all we have brought we have stored the value given by the user of for a of the first person of a let's copy it and let's use it for other this is for b and for c and this for d and this will be d equal to and this will be for c and this will be for b now let's send the name is of second person is of third person is of fourth person so up now what we did is we have asked the age of fourth person from the user and store on the variable a b and c and d so now let's start the condition now it is really simple if a is of a is greater than b yeah if a is greater than other it must be greater than b and you have learned about this logical operator in the previous video if and was that go and watch it uh, and a is greater than c again we have another a is greater than d then if a is greater than b greater than c and greater than d it means it is greater than all of the other three so what we should print system dot out dot print line first person oh i missed this spelling is old guest one what's that message so mm, now if a is greater than b and greater than c and greater than d it means a is greater so i print it now what if a is not if a is smaller than b or any other uh, if it is false then b is greater than c and b is greater than d since we have already compared in a, a with b here so we mustn't compare that again if it would be true it will not it will already execute it it will not come out there so we should not compare b with c since we already compared here so now if this is false then b is already greater than a and b is greater than c b is greater than means obviously b is the second person is the oldest one yeah again we have another uh, so now since we have compared a with c a b with c now is only remaining is c is greater than d and what it will be there's if c is greater than third person is the oldest one uh, else now if all above three condition will be false then it is obvious that fourth person that is the person d is the oldest one so let's run this now 
Then to the first is the person let me give is first person 19, second person 25 and third person 15 and third fourth person 23. Now here we got answer. Second person is the oldest. Yeah. Uh, why did we get this? It means since we have already here first person, second person, third person and fourth person. Here among all the big one run is 25 that is second person. So it we have the result that second person is oldest. So that's it. That's the comparing program and finding the greater one. Uh, I'll review it once for the last time. What we did? We imported a scanner and we declared four variables A B C D. <coughs> Sorry. And we asked the user for those four A's and we compared A is greater than B and A is greater than C and A is greater than D. I've already told you about uh, logical operator and and if a is greater than B and greater than C and A is greater than D then directly A is the oldest one but if it is false then it will go and cause C this what is here? B is greater than C, B is greater than D since we already compared with A and B so we must not compare here and if it is true it will print second person it oldest one and if it false it will check this C is greater than D we already compared A with C, B with C so only last remaining is C with D so we compare if all these conditions are false and else there is the last one fourth person that is obviously the oldest one so this is how we create a comparing program i hope you learned it if you have, have any problem then uh, just comment down below i'll reply it as soon as possible uh, subscribe to our youtube channel for other videos too thank you for this video hope we'll meet in next video